I'm on a mission right now to find the Costco with the most Asian options, selection, food, snacks, whatever. So let me know in the comments below what city you think has the most Asian food at their Costco. You ready to go, girl? Yeah? So we're gonna get a hot dog. You want chicken bake? Okay. Chicken bake. Oh my gosh, that cookie is so tempting. That's where we're getting right now. Of course, they put the cookie right in front of where the kids can see it. Want mustard on the hot dog? You don't want mustard? I'll put it on my side, okay? You don't want this one? All right, then I'll eat it. There you go, be careful, it might be a little hot still. Said so they don't have the onions anymore. I love the onions. So that lunch only cost us six bucks. My hot dog was $1.50, as you would know if you come here. The famous hot dog. I heard a story that the founder of Costco was pretty angry when somebody suggested they raise the price. And they do whatever they can to keep that hot dog price artificially low. So thank you, Costco, because that was good. It's always nostalgic. Do I say that word too much? How was your chicken bake? Yeah. There's definitely way more Asian foods here. We don't have this whole selection of noodles at our Costco. Hey, can you hold tight there? Just hold tight, okay? Don't move. Okay. Shin ramen. I think we did have that. I don't remember this one though. Budok? What is this? Budok. Spicy chicken flavor. Carbonara. Huh. That is interesting. I know that uh, Koreans love cheese inside of their noodles. Cheese with everything, actually. Okay, thank you. Taiwanese noodles, here you go. The uh, Tiffy Cook's noodles come with a shallot sauce. Yeah, I just want to buy the noodles. Maybe I'll get this. Uh, it's our first buy, our first Asian buy. Got the rice ramen, I do recognize that. Miso ramen, udon noodles. Organic bean vermicelli, we definitely don't have this. I think I remember seeing this. Meteor noodles. If anybody's bought this, tell me how this tastes, because this seems to be popular. So lately I've been into noodles, not only because we were sent those noodles. One thing I've always wanted to cook is ramen from scratch. Maybe not the noodles so much, but the broth. Um, same thing, Taiwanese beef noodle. A soup. I do make chicken stock from a whole chicken. I've never made beef broth from oxtail or beef bone, so I'm gonna start doing that from here on out because it's healthy and the girls like it. They love the noodles. Do you like noodles? Which one do you like better, noodles or rice? No, no rice and no noodles. Okay, do you like chicken bake? Yeah. Okay, this girl, she's just a difficult one, huh? Not an Asian snack, but dang, this is tempting right here. Tomato basil pizza crisps, especially if it tasted like pizza. Oh my God, I feel like I have to try it. Do you want this for a snack? No. On the way home? No, 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 no. Mm. Oh my gosh, well, it's kind of expensive. Eight bucks? Oof. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be good today. Like that. You don't no, like no, that? No. no, no, no. Okay. Just say no. Just say no to the fake QP. Yeah, that QP is not the real thing. It's, it's not the real thing. Green and red sriracha. Hmm. I didn't even know there was a green sriracha. It's just verde hot sauce. Thai sweet chili. That's a good deal. It's as if they knew my addiction. Chili oil with onion. That's the biggest bottle of chili oil I've ever seen. And yeah, the price is definitely right. Eight bucks for this whole thing? This will last a while. Oh, that also looks good too, but I have too many chili oils. Okay, down here they got Thai curry. My friend Matt said they might have a lot of East Indian, Asian foods. So here you go. Well, I mean, it's Thai, but I'm sure there's gonna be some curry. I just love finding weird stuff. Wendy's chili. I didn't even know this was a thing. Six cans of Wendy's chili for $19. That's pretty expensive. I think I'd rather just go to Wendy's. 
in depth in the box of this. We go through this pretty quick. I know I just mentioned I make this from scratch, but it is convenient just to have it, especially when we do like a, a curry. We use this instead of water. We are definitely finding a ton of Asian snacks like this. Tapioca boba pudding. That's cool, coconut milk. Hmm. Mama, I think she used to use this. Chinese style sausage. Correct me if I'm wrong. You use this for a noodle dish. I think I think you use this for, um, what's it called? For pancit. Hey, did mama used to buy this? This one? Did mama used to have this one? No. No? I swear she uses for pancit or some, some Filipino dish. I think it's slightly sweet. Cake seasoned with chicken meat floss. Man, I wish I could taste all these foods. Rice porridge without abalone. This is kind of like auto scaldo, but with fish in it, with seafood. You know, it'd be cool if maybe once every few months they had a taste everything in the store day where <laughs> there were just tons and tons of sample stations. That'd be pretty cool. I bet people would buy way more products if they got to taste them. Or maybe they don't want you to taste it. They just want you to bring it home. Just ran out of sugar, so I'll definitely get one of these. You just can't beat Costco prices. This whole thing is 10 bucks for this whole bag. 10 bucks. I saw something behind you. Look at this. Three flavored Pocky. Cookies and cream, chocolate, and strawberry. So I have seen this at our Costco, just a bubble tea pack. But speaking of tea, we need green tea. Last time I shopped for this, they ran out. They said they were running low. I wonder if they prioritize certain products for certain stores. Because this is a common thing. And tell me if you guys have seen this at your Costco. That zero at ours last week. Ah! This whole wall, refrigerated or freezer section, all Asian foods. We have some of them, but one that we don't have, shrimp wonton soup. That's fancy, or well, at least the picture looks fancy. We've got the Japanese gyoza. We've tried that. Orange chicken, oh man, that looks awesome. Vegetable spring rolls, I think we have that. Now I wouldn't buy most of these because I'd rather just cook them. A little feedback on the crispy potato corn dog. It's all right. Now, if you've been to Korea or you've been to Koreatown in Tokyo, it's good, but, and I'll take it because I'm not in Korea and I'm not near Tokyo or Koreatown. Besides, it was fun to buy. And you, we bought it twice now. Uh, it's worth trying. Kids like it, but man, it just would be so much better if there was a hot dog in there. Korean style crunchy chicken. That does look good. So the girls requested I get regular sliced bread, which, you know, I almost never do. So I'm going to get them some Dave's Killer Bread. You want peanut butter and jelly sandwich later? No, I don't like it. We've been so blessed that my mom makes us tons of bread. So we barely need to buy bread, which is pretty crazy because we used to buy bread at least twice a week. Definitely once a week. And now I went from buying bread once every week at least to buying bread probably once a month. So thank you, mom. Thank you for the sourdough. And if you guys can do sourdough, I would highly recommend it. Way healthier for you. Miso glazed cod. That's fancy. Now, not necessarily Asian. Of course, it's an Asian flavor miso. Now, if you caught the live, let me know. Uh, if you want me to do that again, that was pretty fun, getting to just cook in real time. I was honored to have my buddy Matt there, and he used miso on a steak. I would have never thought to use miso, but it makes sense, especially because miso is such a strong flavor, so it holds up to the steak. So yeah, check out the live if you want to see that recipe. He put miso, soy sauce, mirin, inside of the butter that I'm basting with, so. It was delicious. It was really good. Of course, the steak was also cooked really nicely too. It was medium rare. I definitely don't have the, how do you say it? Zhao Long Bao. Zhao Long Bao with the soup inside. Oh, we're in Redmond, Washington, if you're curious about which Costco I'm at. They've got a lot of Asian stuff, way more than ours. And out of sweet cherries, frozen. Can't beat it. Only 11 bucks for this whole bag. You want this one? Okay, there you go. Go ahead. Otherwise you're gonna drop. Yeah, I have to put this away. Okay. Hey, what do you say? Okay. I'm so proud of you. One thing that we've always done with the girls is we insist on them communicating with grown-ups, not being scared. 
So if they want a free sample, they have to interact. They have to at least say hello and please and thank you. They don't have to say full sentences. They just have to be confident, right? It's really important that you guys know how to communicate with people. Uh oh, I just saw something that looks amazing. Sweet chili and sour cream potato chips. Okay, we're good on chips though. Wow, lychee and original flavor. Oh my gosh, I feel like, okay, I have to do it. The girls are gonna love this. They love this drink. It's a little treat. Hey, hey, do you like this? This is a yogurt drink from Japan. Yeah, I'll get it for your sister's gonna love this. We don't have any more bananas. I think we do have a lot of bananas. Okay, so we already ran out of onions. Let me get this 10 pound bag that we always get. Oi, that's good. Okay, so you're saying we don't have enough bananas at home? No. Okay, look at this. This one I'm talking about, perfectly ripe. This is rare, you don't see this. I'm always okay getting extra bananas because what we like to do is freeze them and use them for smoothies or Judy makes banana bread, which she hasn't made in a while, so maybe you want to go in here? She loves it in here. Speaking of smoothies, one thing we haven't done in a while is make a green smoothie, so maybe we'll do that. Ah, you can see your breath. Is that fun? Ah, okay. Is that a good one? Let's just check it out, okay? Just check it out. Okay, that is a good one. Good choice. I haven't seen this in a while. Aussie bites. Oh, wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Rolled oats, apricots, flax seeds, sunflower seeds, honey, coconut, quinoa, chia seed, seeds, and more. But is there chocolate? I don't think so. Is that good? Bag of avocados. We've been doing a lot of guacamole, too, when we have too many of these. I'm curious. So we're, we're just about done. I just had this random thought. I'm curious if you started trying other Asian foods because of Costco. Did you see something and think, you know what, I'm gonna try that. And because of it now, one, you, you eat that food regularly, maybe you buy it. It's a regular buy for you. Or have you started going out to that style of food, that, that cuisine? Have you explored that cuisine in terms of restaurants? What's that? There's free samples, girl. Oh my gosh, you're making her day right now. Hey, hey. Can you hold this tight? What do you say? Kid back there fell on the ground. And of course, you'd assume he cried because he fell. I think he cried because he dropped his mac and cheese on the ground. <laughs> I think so because he didn't even pull that hard, but his mac and cheese was all over the floor. Poor kid. Shout out to the guy at the mac and cheese sample stand. He went and picked up all the mac and cheese, threw it out, and then gave him a new one. Costco, you have amazing employees. Now, if I was on a diet, this is definitely something I would be buying. Chicken crumble. Get some butter lettuce, put that on there. Wow, probably comes with the sauce too. Sounds good, of course they got the kimchi, we had that. Beef and broccoli stir fry, wow, these, this is like all the health foods right here. Vegetables and protein. I've seen this before at ours. I've also seen the Korean barbecue. So I was gonna look for some oxtail to make my own beef stock or beef soup. And look at this, holding out. American Wagyu here at Costco. They don't have that where we live. $29.99 a pound, that's expensive expensive but still cheaper than if I were to buy American Wagyu at our grocery store. So I didn't find any oxtail. I wonder if I could use beef plate short ribs because they do have the bones in it. That is kind of expensive but that would probably be pretty good. And then there's a lot of meat that would fall off. Might, this might be a good one to get. Throw it in there. Good job. Every time I feel like I'm done vlogging, something new. Something new here. That's why you should explore and go out to other Costco's. Chicken pad thai. Now, if you love pad thai, Costco's got you in Redmond, Washington. Pad thai is one of those dishes I wanna learn how to cook because it, so many people love it and then I love it too. Let me know if you're Thai, if they have pad thai in that way. You wanna go that way? Okay, we're gonna go that way. 
Let me know if they have Pad Thai in Thailand. I'm assuming they do. Hey, look at this. They have the milk that we buy right in front. Look at this, and they got a ton of milk here. Yay. We usually have only have the one pallet, but they got one, two, three, and four. So, can you see your breath? <laughs> okay, yeah. All right, let's get them. Let's get this for sure. Ah. Of course, our favorite ice cream. We don't even buy any other ice cream. We just buy this vanilla. And then if we want a different flavor, we just put toppings now. Seaweed. We eat this for breakfast. The girls like to have it with their rice. And even dinner, it's just fun. And Mia, she does her seaweed art on, the, on her rice during dinner. See, back in the day, Costco didn't have that many Asian products. So it's cool as time went on. Oh, you want this thing? It's cool that they've, uh, they've got so many more options and offered so many different types of food. We always let them pick a book out if they want to read a book. For her, she's not quite into reading yet. You want this one? You want the animals one? Okay. We have this philosophy. We don't buy them a lot of toys, or at least we try not to. Uh, when, when I say try not to, we can't really control what other people do. Do you want to hold it? Go ahead, you hold it, okay? But when it comes to anything creative, it's open season. That includes these stickers and this coloring book. They couldn't resist the pizza crisps. I hope they enjoy it. I'm sure they will. Believe it or not, I had it. Thank you. Thank you. Yep, take care. Good job, girl. Good job. Okay. So, yeah, there are definitely a lot more Asian products, snacks here at the Redmond Washington Costco. Also, fancier stuff, that American Wagyu. I wish we had that. Save us a few dollars when we buy the nice steaks. Today's bill came out to $201. We did stock up on a, a bunch of stuff too, and I did buy, buy that meat. And those bones alone were about over 50 bucks. But uh, that'll last us a long time. All right, I will talk to you guys later. Hope you're doing well.